Oh, no, not that. I guess the the trial we go, I'm not prepared for this. <clears throat> and I guess the stream is really gonna go like until like 1.20 because these freaking trials are like three hours long. But good thing because I won't be talking as much anymore. I will interject it sometimes though, hopefully. Start the class trial. Yes. Class trial in session. <clears throat> <clears throat> now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. Okay. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Jeez, was Kirumi really like as tall as Kaito? <laughs> Or at least almost. Vote correctly, <clears throat> and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. I really want to not vote at some point. Now, <clears throat> smiles, everyone! It's showtime! Let's get this crazy awesome trial underway! Sorry, everyone. I don't think I'm gonna be much help this time. Because of Monokuma's disruptions, I couldn't do a thorough investigation. I can tell Monokuma is overcompensating to hide his self-consciousness. <laughs> Jeez. Next time, spend less time fixing your hair and more time investigating, spaceman! <laughs> Shut up! I don't need to hear some comedy act from you two weirdos. Who did it? Oh, Himiko! Who killed Angie and Tenko? She's so angry. Do not let your emotions hasten your judgment. There may be two killers. So, our other culprit might not be one of us here. Hmm? What do you mean? Does she mean a ghost? Kukichi and Monokuma equals savages. The transfer student. Oh my gosh, this music is back. Maybe our resurrected transfer student dragged Angie and Tenko into the grave. Really? Stop it! Stop making stuff up! Say something, Shuichi. It'll be a mess if this keeps going on. Very much so. Wait a minute. Angie's uh, picture is a lot different. Is it even possible for a revived corpse to be a culprit? Well, in the interest of being thorough, I should clear things up here. Oh boy, already getting into it. What do we got here? Oh boy. Monokuma file three, four hidden. This oh crime boy. was committed by the recently deceased. Okay. They came back to life and killed two of our classmates. No! I love zombies. So ritual did work. Oh boy. Who was resurrected? It did work. Angie did say she was gonna bring Rantaro back. Ah. Yes. Rantaro was resurrected. The culprit is the late Rantaro Amami! What is happening? Please, stop it! Uh, so already... This isn't about believing and reviving the classmates. I have to focus on their statements. Hmm? Were all of those statements correct? Uh, I'm already confused. Um, so let's look at stuff. Uh... A book Monica prepared as a motive, Angie attempted to carry out the book's resurrection ritual. Necronomicon ri resurrection ritual. Prepare an effigy of the dead soul you wish to contact. Everyone may pretend. Oh! It wasn't completed! This crime was committed by the recently deceased! That's what it is. They came to life! Classmates! Ah! Okay. That ritual did no, 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 it didn't. Let's go. That's wrong! Because you didn't burn the book. And I remember. I remember talking about that. I don't think Angie's ritual succeeded. Yeah. According to the Necronomicon Monokuma showed us, you have to burn the Necronomicon in the ritual. Maybe it is actually burned. 
When you burn it, you get a book. After preparing the effigy, burn the snuffer and to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle, a sprinkle the ashes on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. If Angie's ritual had succeeded, the book would have been gone. Yes. So she must have been killed before the ritual was complete, since the book was still intact. Mm-hmm. Then, going to think Rantaro probably not culprit. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. The fact that we had to say that Rantaro was the culprit. Well, duh. Oh, boy. There's no way a dead person could resurrect. Now, hold on a second. I can't let that comment stand. What? Sure, everybody knows that you can't bring the dead back to life. But it's easy at the Ultimate Academy, as long as you use the Necronomicon. Seriously? What are you talking about? There's no way that's possible. But it's true. I never lie about motives. Daddy said so, so he can't be wrong. Raising the dead is totally possible. Are you sure about that? Man, I can't believe you guys wasted such a perfectly good moment. Wait, we can move the camera? You should have let me <laughs> to bring Monadam back to life. <laughs> Why am I having so much fun with this? It's okay. I didn't know you can move the camera. Monodum is still alive, though. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't waste the resurrection on Monodum's corpse. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just hold down right click, and apparently you can move the camera here. <laughs> Monoski, <laughs> what do you have to say? Well, so and you can move it here! Actually possible this whole I want to look at... Oh, oh, they jump. Oh, boy. <laughs> Discovering new things every day. Okay. There's no way it's possible! <sighs> There's no way that could happen, idiots. Monokuma is trying to confuse us. Okay. Uh... Yeah, look at her, uh... Death thing. She's an angel. Let's hurry up and find out who the Blackened is. If our transfer student isn't the culprit, then blame falls to one of us. Okay. Who? Who did it? Oh, look at freaking Kaede's. Step aside, Half Pint. I'll handle this. Half Pint? I don't know about Tenko, but I'm pretty fucking sure Keo murdered Angie. I don't think so. What? Why? Play dumb with me, creep show. I already know what happened. I don't. Oh my gosh, again? Already? Okay. Seems like a lot more action in this trial. Um, art lab. The culprit used a katana door, to kill Angie. Back door. Yuji's lock picking. And Sumugi's it was account. found in key. What is Sumugi's account? Angie had locked herself in the ultimate artist lab since yesterday, working on the ritual. She had not unlocked the door unless someone else. Oh, student comes. Let's ask her to the student. Okay, that's probably gonna be Keo's research lab, which makes you Keo automatically suspicious. But anyone could have taken that katana, you see. Yeah. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. You were the only yeah. one who cared about that thing, Keo. I did not care about some katana. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. Why? Into the classroom, broke in. Oh. He murdered the fuck out of Angie. It's probably oh, broken. Fucking genius. Uh, what is what is Kukichi's lockpicking? Kukichi can lock and unlock the front door. Okay, and then front door. This door has a cylindrical lock. Dance well with the key, so it can only be locked and unlocked from inside the lab. Before Angie's body was found, the door was locked. Was locked. The store has a sliding lock. When Angie's body was found, the sliding lock was locked from the inside. The handle of the sliding lock moves at the slightest touch. Something gold and shiny was on the handle. Would it? Is Keo really the culprit? Does that story fit the facts of the case? We should think about it from the beginning. The culprit used a katana to kill Angie. 
What do you... And it was found in Keo's research lab. Which makes you, Keo, mm. automatically suspicious. But anyone could have taken that Maybe katana. Maybe it is the back door. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Keo. Maybe. I'm gonna try the back door. Some katana. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. You went to the classroom. Broken. Oh, I didn't mean to lie. I didn't mean to lie. Oh no, I'm gonna lose and the heart for that. Angie. I, I gotta relearn the controls. I gotta relearn all the controls. Jeez. Yes. Okay. I didn't care about some katana. Just admit it, you shitty worm. You Nothing here would go with it. Oh, that's not it. Okay. Um, whether Q had the key or not, Angie still wouldn't have let would have let him in her lab. And from there, he could have pinned her. No. Okay. So you just uh. The culprit used a katana to kill Angie. You just gave me the right idea. And it was found in Keo's research lab. <laughs> Re. Which makes you, Keo, automatically suspicious. I just like doing that. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Did I not hit? No! What the heck? Stop this! I know what to do! Stop this! I got this, guys. Okay. Okay, get ready, get ready, get ready. There we go. That's wrong! You see, I thought it was that, but like, I don't know. I, don't know. I said to be sure. No, Kyo would not have been able to enter Angie's lab. Isn't that right, Tsumugi? Yeah. Before Angie locked herself up in her research lab, she said she wasn't going to open up for anyone but student council members. Yes, and, and Kyo was, was not. A member. She wouldn't have opened the door for him. Kyo couldn't have killed Angie even if he wanted to. Really? I had no desire to kill her in the first place. So whoever killed Angie must have been one of the student council members, yeah? Not necessarily. Uh, I was doing a bit to lead you to the right answer. Can't believe you actually got it. Oh, how clever. You can just ignore her, Gonta. Please, Gonta. The remaining student council members are Gonta, Kibo, Samugi and Himiko. Well, it can't be Himiko. She was besties with Angie. You can't rule out Himiko, though, sadly. I trust their friendship. You guys do too, right? Okay, you're obviously lying. Yeah, of course. Can we trust their friendship so readily? Obviously. Let's believe in them. What is. Why? Stop. That trims our list of suspects down to three. Gonta, oh, the fact that they're not worrying about Himiko leads me to believe that's actually Himiko. Yep, yep. The culprit is one of those three people. Which could possibly explain why the ritual didn't work. You mean one of those two people? Because a robot ain't people, Jack. Oh my gosh, stop. I will let that remark slide. Anyway. Aren't these accusations just a tad too hasty? Seeing Kirumi's portrait makes me cry. Me too. Oh my gosh, her execution was so sad too. Like, honestly. What else? The culprit should confess already. Gonta, Keyboy, or Samugi? Well? No, not Gonta. Gonta would never kill Angie. Yeah, Gonta's a gentleman. You shouldn't suspect either of us. Okay, the fact that it's like, oh, it's these three people. Is it gonna be like one of those like hey, mass stick up for me too things? I feel like it's setting it up. Gonta definitely not hurt yep, anyone. it's definitely Torture setting it Gonta up. if you don't believe. OMG, the robophobia keeps jumping out. Torture might be a bit too far, but Gonta and I aren't the culprits. I actually really like this. And I'm not the culprit either. Jeez. 
I'm not the culprit. I'm not the culprit. Oh boy. Mass panic to be. Uh, let's see what we got here. He must consider other possibilities. What possibility is? Surely there must be a suspect who would not be true uh, student council. Ah. Uh, That's utterly impossible. Ah. Not just anyone could open that door. Only student council members had access. Only student council members had access. That is true. Are there no robots told such boring lies. Okay. Is that a robophobic remark? <laughs> okay, there's two of them now. Uh, let's look at some Moogies. There were several suspicious statements, but one is obviously inconsistent. I'll listen carefully, sort the statements in my head, and find the answer. You must consider you other possibilities. Well then, please. So not betray student council! Did it. She, that is true. She can't be the culprit. I, she can though. Yeah. Culprit is. But it's definitely not me. Robophobic remark. Go away. Okay. Did she have any? I didn't thing? kill Angie. Oh, I guess not. Gentlemen, not betray student council. Maybe Gonta did it. I don't know. And do you have an alibi for last night? Gonta in room talking to bug friends. I can believe that actually. Much better than being out too late at night. Out too late. Ask bug friends if Kyo doubt Gonta. I can't. Robophobic remark. Ah, go away. Okay. Or seven. Okay. Gonta is gentlemen. Now, what are all of the freaking there must be suspect, but not truth be things? Student council. Let me see real quick. That's utterly possible. There's a lot here. Uh, um. Not just can't be the one could open that door. Friends. Nothing yet. Not that far back. Members have okay. access. Right. Out too late. Only student council members had access. I didn't know access. robots told such boring lies. Uh. Not me. Robophobic remark. What was the student council had access to thing? What was that again? You must consider other possibilities. I'm gonna listen to this one. Surely there must be a suspect who would not betray student council. Oh. That's utterly impossible. It's utterly impossible. Not just anyone could open that door. Wait. Only student council members had access. Uh, but you could pick it too. Let's go. I heard it. No, I don't need a hint. I just needed to, uh... I just needed to no, pay attention. It wasn't just student council members that could have opened that lab door. Mio made a robophobic remark, remark. Kiba let it slide. Kiba, that is not like you. <laughs> well, if you saw what happened during the chapter, oh boy. Hmm. What was it you said earlier about Kyo opening the door, Shuichi? Unless you're a student council member, you can't enter Angie's lab, right? If, if I need a hint for uh, any of, like, the parts of this uh, trial, I'll let you guys know. But, yeah. Just no, like, spoilers, obviously, or anything like that. I was referring to Keo. He couldn't have done it, but you could I love have. this music. Because I saw you open the classroom lock by picking it. Yes, this happened. Kukichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. Click, click, click. Clack. There, open says me. Oh, that happened? I totally forgot. So you're going to pretend you don't remember, huh? <laughs> Quit glaring at me like that. Of course I remember. Mm hmm Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I killed Angie. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't take him seriously. Hmm? Wait, what? What did you just say? Guys. I picked the lock to her lab, snuck into the room, and then, wham! Killed Angie. Guys, stop. The culprit was me, all along. Well guys, this was the class trial for this, uh, for this session. I'm so glad that you guys were here. Oh wait, we're on chapter three. Yeah, I forgot what happened, but now I remember, so it sounds like Kibo now. 
Uh, so yeah, this was the class trial. Uh, can't wait to see his uh, execution now. Uh, oh my gosh. What? What? What are you saying? Is this some kind of joke? Yes, it is. Nah, no joke. I thought that if I confessed, I could atone for my sins. And it helped. I feel so much better. Whew! Wait, so Kokichi really is culprit? Guys. No, he's lying. I think. Maybe? Miu, you're actually being smart for once. Oh my gosh. He's lying. I'm certain of it. Thank goodness somebody actually has common sense in here. No, no. Definitely not a lie. I killed Angie. No, you didn't. Stop talking. Shouldn't you guys believe the culprit when they confess? Oh my gosh. Then let me ask you, culprit. How did you lock the room? Huh? It's the same as opening it. You pick the door closed from the outside? No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> huh? What does it make sense? Can't you lock a door by picking it? Maybe, but that's not how the culprit locked the room. Nope. They used a different method. What different method? Yeah, Mumbles. Use your big boy voice and explain yourself. How many nicknames does freaking Shuichi have by now? Uh, there were two doors to the classroom, and the one locked last was... Uh, uh, um... Um, the one locked last was the... Oh, the back door. Right? That's it! Because it had the gold stuff on it. The back door. That's how they made this a locked room mystery. The back door had a sliding lock, yes? Is how that, was it is locked that right? from the outside? Is that right, Sumugi? Is that... Oh. Too soon. <laughs> I love doing this now. I don't understand why. The culprit used a certain tool. tool. The tool the culprit used to lock the siding lock from the outside was... What? What? What is this? How did the culprit lock the lab door from the outside? Uh... Why is there a Monokuma? Uh... I, I don't like this minigame. This is probably my least favorite one. Just because I'm bad at it. Uh... Would it be... Maybe I... No. I suck at this freaking part of the trial. Is it this? Oh, it is. I see it. I even have to look at the other things. The gold leaf katana that was stabbed into Kaede's effigy. <laughs> oh, it's been so long since you said Kaede. The culprit used that to hit the knob of the sliding lock to lock the door. So the gold leaf was on the sliding lock because. Because when the katana hit the lock, some of the gold leaf rubbed off on it. Okay, so the katana hit it and not like Angie's hand. That's interesting. The gold leaf on that katana did peel rather easily. Hmm, that evidence rings a bell. Specifically, a school bell. Oh my gosh, that, that's probably a nod to the first game, right? Huh? Are you talking about a different school? What school was it? Yep. Now, that doesn't matter anymore. Let's not dwell on the past. That's definitely a, a reference. Ooh, the gold leaf landed on the sliding lock when the katana touched it. So that means the culprit used the katana to move the sliding lock, right? Yes. But wait, how did they move it with a katana? And from outside Angie's lab? The clue that might give us the answer is the layout of the area itself. Oh? It was an odd setup after all. The katana stabbed into the effigy. The effigies hung upside down. Angie didn't do that as part of the ritual? Did she not? No. 
Nowhere in the Necronomicon did it say you had to hang the effigies. I guess that is true. If it was not part of the ritual, then it must have been for a different purpose, right? A different purpose? What could have that been? The culprit somehow used the setup to lock the room. In that case, I need to know the reason behind every step of that setup. Oh boy. If I do that, the way the culprit locked the room should be clear. Oh, psych taxi. Okay. It has been a while since I have done this. Let's see what we got. At least with this, I don't really have to think much. Actually, I still kind of do, since it's the question. Um, I I still need more. Uh, hello. Oh. What turned the handle of the sliding lock? Didn't we already determine this? <laughs> this is such a weird mini game. Uh, the katana hill. <laughs> this is so weird. Next question, next question. Okay, what do we got? This is essentially logic dive though, like... I do like the different presentation though. Okay. Can I get more words, please? What was done to turn the katana back, or...? Oh, I missed one. I think as long as you get enough at until like a certain point, it's fine. What was done to make the katana turn the lock? I don't know. Uh, what are the options? Katana was stabbed into the effigy, sliding lock was tampered with. I think it's stabbed into the effigy. Good. I'm assuming that's correct. Let's go even faster. Okay. <laughs> G. And. G at O my and B. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, I'm I'm missing some now. Oh, but there's a car. Okay. And there we go. How is the effigy manipulated to make the katana affect the lock? This is so weird. Oh, uh, spinning it, swinging it back and forth, making it fall. Maybe swinging back and forth? Nope, I just killed someone. Maybe spinning it? Or maybe making it fall, but it didn't fall. Yep, okay. We, we now know what happens when you get it wrong. You literally kill someone. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't think spinning it, but okay. I guess it kind of makes sense. The reason the culprit stuck the katana into the effigy was so that it would hit the sliding lock as the effigy spun. Okay. Effigy spun? That's right. Yeah, that makes if sense. If you spun the effigy, the rope it was hanging from would twist. Then, if you let it go, the rope would unwind and the effigy would spin the other way. And of course, the katana would spin with it. And that would give the person enough time to leave the room. I see.
see. So the culprit used the katana's counterspin to push the lock into place? The culprit simply needed to spin the effigy's rope and then swiftly leave. This would cause the spinning katana to hit the sliding lock. And thus was the back door of an empty classroom locked from the inside. Okay. Yes, that's how Angie's lab was locked. By using the effigy with the katana. A plan born from the heart of a sword traveling through the air to intercept us. Oh, but could it have moved the sly box so easily? The sliding lock was pretty loose. A little push could move it. As long as the spin could yeah, hit the lock, it makes sense now. It would have slid into position. So maybe Angie didn't kill herself. Even if the culprit failed the first couple times, they could keep trying until it locked. Which is why the culprit chose to strike at nighttime as to avoid detection. Yes, since the student council prohibited anyone from walking around at nighttime. Are you saying it's the student council's fault? Oh no. I didn't say that. In any case, the culprit probably used the murder weapon for this trick. It had to have been the right length to hit the sliding lock from the effigy. You know, it's almost like a magic trick. You know? The culprit couldn't find a blade long enough in my lab, so they settled for the katana. The other effigies were only hung up, so we think it was some kind of ceremony. That way, we wouldn't notice the lock trick. Yeah, it makes sense now. I thought it was for the but, ritual, but you know, I guess I'm done. Say earlier that he could have picked the lock closed. I don't want to completely ignore that possibility, but I can't imagine the culprit would have done all this just for a distraction. If that's the case, then Kokichi's confession earlier was actually. Seriously, you fucking lied again! <laughs> Cough it up, Kokichi! Oh, man. You guys got me. Okay, I'm not the culprit. So we rolled out one out of, what, nine people? You're telling the truth this time, right? Oh, she's so angry. I want to say I'm lying, but I'm not. Oh? Why did you say you were the culprit? I wanted to lure the culprit out. If I claim to be the culprit then the real culprit would agree as well. You get me? And if they pressured me to confess, then that would have looked mighty suspicious. I guess Sheesh. he has a point. Darn it. It didn't go my way because Shuichi butted in on my plan. You and your fucking lies. Go sit in the corner and play with yourself. Oh. Okay, I'll start right now. Oh, please don't. All right. So, who's the asshole who set up this locked room mystery? Mew, I can't hold it up anymore. What's the matter? You going soft on me now? Who made the locked room mystery doesn't matter since anyone could have done it. That's true. Don't you even understand something as basic as that, you filthy cum dumpster? Whoa. Whoa. Cum dumpster! Okay, we don't need to repeat it. Someone finally called me a cum dumpster! Oh. What should we talk about now? Me too, Gunther. We must focus not on the locked room, but on who entered Angie's lab. Only one of the student council members or Kokichi could have gained entry. Yes. Therefore, the culprit must be among their number. Mm hmm. That leaves us with four suspects. Sumugi, Gonta, Kibo, and Kokichi. Yeah, but also Tenko. Don't forget Himiko. She's also a part of the student council. From its hit, Kokichi's and Mio's combo. Doesn't matter if she was besties with Angie, she's still a suspect. That contradicts what you said earlier, which I can prove using my recording function. It's fine. That's just a waste of time. Me? Mm -hmm. Suspect? I never kill Angie! So, calling all suspects, what should we discuss next? I want to hear everyone's opinion. What would you say to get yourself off the suspect list? Why are you trying to lead the debate? You're a suspect, too. <laughs> Silence, outsider! 
Only the suspect rangers are allowed to speak. What? Why? S suspect rangers? I agree. Those under suspicion should explain themselves thoroughly. We might catch them with their pants down! Anyway, I want to ask the suspect rangers. What should we talk about? What should we say to get ourselves off the suspect list? Well, guys, I want to hear what you think. I want to hear it too. Um, that's sort of a difficult question, you know? Why? Gonta not smart enough to know answer to that. Just have an alibi. Yes, it is difficult to formulate a logical response to that question. What were y'all guys, what were all of you doing? Not articulate with words, huh? Don't you guys want to prove your innocence? I think Gogichi's innocent. They don't trust you one bit, and I don't blame them. You're probably plotting. I don't trust you either. Did Tinko have to die? I'm getting sad. Huh? I want to know what happened to Angie too, but can we talk about Tinko's case now and not just Angie? <laughs> I got you exactly where I wanted, Himiko. Oh my gosh. What do you mean? The two victims could have been killed by two separate murderers, you know. So we need to find the first blackened responsible for the first victim. We've got to figure out who killed Angie. Until we solve Angie's case, Tenko's case is meaningless. Not necessarily. Did you suggest that to waste our time? It's not meaningless! Oh. Himiko. Tenko's death was meaningless? How dare you! This is the most emotion that she has ever shown. Poor Tenko! How could you do this to her? H Himiko. Himiko, stop it with your crappy lies. Lies? Everything you said is total BS. You didn't give two shits about Tenko when she was alive. But now you're like... Oh no, poor Tenko, after she's dead. Come on, really? Kokichi, people have feelings, and most likely she's feeling regret. Freaking calm down. Kokichi, enough! No, it's okay. It's no surprise he'd think that. I know I ignored Tenko before. That's why I'm so upset now. I should have faced Tinko. Work things out with her while she was still alive. Especially since she is that close to him. <laughs> but now, it's too late. I can't complain to her or thank her. It's too late. Yeah, seriously. It's way too late to realize that now. What? Our only option is to face her death head on. That's a very weird introduction. Yeah. Face her death? Himiko, I understand what you're going through. So I'm gonna help you out. Let's work together to find the truth. I'm not gonna let anyone say her death didn't matter. K Kaito. All right, I'll put a silencing curse on whoever calls Tanko's death meaningless. <laughs> the name of the curse is... Death curse! Oh boy. I am um, suppose being dead would silence someone pretty good. <laughs> Listen up! All you guys are gonna help out too. Abandoning someone who died and only thinking about your own survival. That's just as bad as a hit and run! I won't forgive something so messed up! Tenko was our friend. Going to wanna know why she died too. I already told you that's so unnecessary. We're getting sidetracked here. I don't think it's unnecessary, though. If we find... I, There might be more stuff related to Tenko than there is Angie right now at the moment. So, like, kind of talking about Tenko's case would help Angie's case. No, even if it was a different culprit, we need to know how Tenko died. If we don't find out who killed her, we won't be able to work together. Not now, not ever. Even if this trial isn't for her, in order for us to survive... We need to get to the bottom of Tenko's death. Not just to survive this trial, but so we can keep going and live on! Kaito. 
Finally, you noticed. Jeez, you're so slow. Huh? Did Kokichi want us to notice? Don't listen to his crap. We haven't decided whether there were two different culprits yet. Let us talk about Tenko's case then. Perhaps that will provide us a clue. Yeah, maybe. Sorry, I had to go off. Um, they're not wrong, but I don't mind going over Tenko's case. But that was an abrupt change of topic. Was that intentional? So what do we talk about first? It is true. Okay, so you're very suspicious. For now, let's see if we can narrow down the list of suspects. Tancrouch probably got killed during the seance, so everyone there's suspicious. Why are you so rude? Tancrouch! The people who attended the seance. The people who attended were, um... Q, Shuichi, Himiko, Kukichi, right? That's it! It was me, Kyo, Himiko, and Kokichi. So those four are the culprits! Are the culprits? Oh, Himiko still culprit? Well, that's probably just a coinkydink. The most suspicious out of the four is really Kyo. He suggested the whole seance idea. I mean, he's not wrong. True, I may have suggested it. But I explained the procedure beforehand, yes? If we all knew of it before the murder, then we are all equally suspicious. Well, I suppose, but... In addition, the seance wasn't entirely in my control either. Really? I was not the one who selected the room we performed it in. It was Himiko. Oh my gosh. However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? Um, the middle one. The middle one. The middle room is always best for stuff like this. Very well. I shall begin the preparations at once. She did set oh. up the room. Or right. chose the room. Also, we should not limit our suspects to only those who participated in the seance. The empty room had a point of entry from outside. See. Yes, it did. A point of entry from outside. He must be referring to the this thing. There. Yep. Usually I suck at that. You're talking about under the floor, right? Huh? Under the floor? <laughs> yes, there's a crawl space under the floor a person can move through. There was also a hole that connected it to the neighboring room. If the culprit used the hole, they could have entered and exited the seance room. If we consider that possibility, then there is another suspect. Another suspect? Who? <laughs> it's appearing before me. You're gonna say Kaito. Oh, I can see it clearly. The true identity of Tenko's killer. You're gonna say Kaito. Why? Just, just say it. We don't need this. The culprit sneaked in during the seance by crawling under the floor. Under the floor, okay. But it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Because it wasn't ah. dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Okay. Light? You mean candle? Candle. I mean, Kibo's flashlight function. Oh. Huh? Now, hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor and sneak into the empty room during the seance. I said, hold on a second. He used his robot functions to commit the murders. Hold on a second. Oh, I was not expecting this. It's true that... That with a little light, you could move around under the floor. But is that possible? The culprit sneaked it in during the It wouldn't be Kibo's, because his is way too bright, right? A function that Mew had added to Kibo. He can emit a blinding light from his eyes. Yeah, blinding, By so. crawling under the floor. 
but it was pitch black during the seance. No. Oh. How could they Because it wasn't black at that floor. You see, our villain had a light. Had a light. I mean, a T-Bus flashlight function. Huh? Now hold on a second. Where is the... function to get under the floor. Oh? No. But there's still enough room for one person to move around, especially if they had Kiba's flashlight. Damn it! Um, do I have to agree the with Gwen? During the Let me just look at everything. A hole that was in the corner of the room the seance was held in. There's space under the floor so that you can see what was dropped there. Crawling under the floor. Um, loose floorboard. The loose floorboard right under Tenko. It was not loose before the seance. There was dried blood on the bottom part of the floorboard. And then the cage child. Oh boy. Um. Okay. I, I think it's this. Because it wasn't the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Uh, light? You mean can? Maybe? No. I mean, that, it didn't function. even hit. Huh? Now hold on a second. Peter could use that function to get under the floor and sneak into the empty room during the seance. I said hold uh, on a second. He used his rope wall function. Hold on a second. Let me uh, sneak in. try to see if this works. I don't have to think of something else. Because it wasn't black at the floor. You see, Evelyn had a light. Light? You mean cat? Mm -hmm. No, that's not it. Oh, this is. What? Just with candles, really? You should have said so. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit weird. By crawling under the floor. But it was pitch black during the seance. Uh. Let me just read this over. In order to perform the cage trial, you need five people, including a spirit medium, in a dark place with no light. First, draw the magic circle passed down from the cage dog village on the ground. Then, the spirit medium must place their forehead on the stone. They must do so at the center of the circle. At feet daily four, make the following preparations. Uh, place the iron cage over the medium. Place the dog on top of the cage. Take care not to step on the magic circle. Finally turn all the lights to make it completely dark and preparations will be complete. The seance will commence once all four participants stand at the corners of the room. The four participants, not including the spirit medium, will sing. This is weird. I really have to think with this one. Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Our villain had a light. Candle? I mean, Kibo's flashlight function. Huh? Now, Are you sure they had a light? Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor and sneak into the empty room during the seance. I said, hold on a second. Hmm. He used his robot functions to commit the murders. Maybe I should try a hole hold in the corner. Hold on a second. All oh, that is it was in the corner of the room. There's a space under the floor so that you can see what was dropped in there. It's true that with a little light you can move around under the floor. But is that possible? The culprit sneaked in during the seance by crawling under the floor. I'm gonna try it. Because it wasn't a good You see. Oh, really? That's wrong! I got it. I don't think the culprit could have used a light while under the floor. It's a big hole. There was a hole in the corner of the room. If a light were used, it would have leaked through and we would have seen it. But when we did the seance, the room was definitely pitch black. Mm -hmm. So a light was not shined under the floor, which means you cannot claim I am the culprit. Jeez. Here I thought this would be the case where the murder could only be done by a robot. <laughs>
You have accused me of being the culprit more than once now simply because I am a robot. Yep. My status as a robot does not mean I am capable of performing superhuman feats. You kind of are, though, right? My vision is somewhat poor, and I only possess average physical strength and intelligence. All right, all right, you made your point. God, now I feel sort of bad for you. I neither want nor need your pity. Oh. Enough with the flashlight! It's way too bright! <laughs> it would have been difficult to move around under the floor in that pitch black darkness. Maybe the floor and the hole have nothing to do with this case. Then why was floorboard under Tanko lined up funny? Yeah. Going to think that was so culprit could stab Tanko from under floor. I think so too. Ooh, nice observation, Gonta. Are you finally getting used to the class trials? Uh huh. Thank you. Don't say it like that. You're better off not being used to this kind of stuff. Maybe they marked Tenko with glowing paint and looked for that. Oh boy. That'd let the culprit find her. Then they could stab her through the floorboards. Boy, that sounds really familiar too. <laughs> Just gonna ignore it. I was just about to say it. Her corpse didn't have any trace of glowing paint, though. Oh, yeah. So then, why was that floorboard loose? The loose floorboard was the one under Tenko, right? If the culprit used it while she was still alive, she'd totally notice. Who fucking cares? Fussing over that won't get us closer to the culprit! We shouldn't dismiss this line of inquiry, however. Instead of butting our heads against this, how about we concentrate on another issue? Like what? What other issue? Perhaps first, we should figure out how and when exactly Tenko was killed. Okay. When? So not during seance? Tenko was in the metal cage for the whole seance, wasn't she? How could someone have gotten to her there? Maybe the culprit killed her before she went under the metal cage. How? That's not possible. She was alive at that point. This is the point of no return. Tenko, after this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Maybe that yes. was Angie. She was unmistakably alive when the seance began. That was right before we blew out the candles. But when the light came back... The floorboard was removed at that point. So it's likely she was already dead then. So she was killed when the room was dark? But she was inside Cage, right? Going to think it unpossible to kill her then. Then she wasn't killed when the room was dark. It was a different time. A different time? How the fuck should I know? You figure it out, shitheads! What? Huh? Since Gonta said it was impossible, I'm proposing an alternate theory. Now hurry up and think! If you want to make my golden brain tingle, start circle jerking your limp dick brains! I don't want to make your brain tingle. I'm sorry. Oh boy. Marker stone, iron cage, white sheet, when and dog Tinko statue. Got killed, it wasn't during the seance. It I kind of get where she's going. Time. What about right after? She was under the cage the whole time. And she was dead when the cage was lifted. <laughs> what about moment cage was lifted? Yeah. Like that. Oh, stop. When Cage lifted, Culprit stabbed Tanko real fast. So fast, no one saw. <laughs> oh my! Stop this. So who lifted the cage? Uh, it was me. <laughs> then obviously Himiko is the culprit. Himiko is the culprit. There's no. The iron cage that Tenko was, was in during the seance. It was moved around. Oh boy. It was moved around. 
It was around three feet high and five feet wide. Shuichi Kukichi placed this over Tenko and Himiko removed it. Tenko's blood is on the bottom of the cage. The stone that was by Tenko's body during the seance, Tenko had been crouched over in the iron cage with her forehead on the stone. Tenko not being killed during the seance. That might not be impossible, but there's no evidence for it. When Tenko got killed... What's the white sheet? The sheet that was over the iron cage during the seance. It's very thick and cannot be seen through. There's blood on the back around the middle of the sheet, but there's no hole in the fabric. Q was the one who placed the sheet over the cage and removed it off the cage. It and wasn't then done. the dog statue, the wooden statue that was put on top of the iron cage during the seance. It weighs about 175 pounds. Shuichi, Kokichi, Q, and Himiko worked together to put it up and remove it from the cage. In the seance. Hmm. It could not have been done at any other time. She was under the cage the whole time. She was under the cage the whole she time, right? She was dead when the cage was lifted. Oh, what about have to go through this. cage was lifted? Moment. Cage was... No. Like that. When cage lifted, culprit stabbed Tango real fast. Oh, yeah, that's a so freaking... So fast, no one saw. Uh, counter thing. So there has to be cage. I'm gonna try when Tanko got killed. Uh, when the something. Done. She was in the cage the whole time. Yeah. And she was dead when the cage was lifted. When cage was lifted. Oh, dang it. We're going to think that only possible if she killed after seance. Unless you know the reason why. Oh boy, this is gonna be a little bit difficult. When Tenko got killed, it wasn't during the se Like, for some reason I can't like link anything to these four truth bullets. Am I supposed to lie me? It could not have been done at any other time. Can I even lie? She was under the cage the whole time. And she was dead when the cage was lifted. Uh what about moment cage was lifted? Like that. Me when cage lifted. We use this with Himiko as the culprit. Himiko is the culprit. I missed. No oh way. my gosh. Okay. I got this. I got this. Just gotta, just gotta wait a little bit now. It's coming a recurring theme in this trial. What about moment cage was lifted? Moment cage was lifted. Nope. When cage lifted, culprit stabbed Tango real fast. So fast, no one saw. She lifted the cage. I should probably be shooting more. No. Okay. The culprit killed her when they opened the cage, then only Himiko could have done that. Oh no! What? Is, what is this? When Tenko got killed. Like I actually don't understand what these truth bullets are. It's one of the blood that was on the ground, under the floor of the room. The sands was held in. It was quite far from where. Okay. That's not one of them, but uh. Me. I'm confused. I may need a hint on this one. Just, just a, just a small, small Ted hint. Uh, cause honestly, I don't really understand these truth bullets with this. Like, not an actual like, like uh. Not an actual answer, but just like a hint. I'm trying to look it up. I forgot. Okay. Um, also, I kind of don't want to like waste time. Like with failing this. I just need a hint. Because I don't understand how any of these really relate to anything. 
maybe Iron Cage with Himiko as the culprit because there's blood on it, but Iron Cage that Tenko was in during the seance, it was around five, it was around three feet high and five feet wide. Shuichi and Kukichi placed this over Tenko and removed it. Tenko's blood was on the bottom of the cage. It wasn't during the seance. I'm gonna try it. It could not have been done at any other time. She was under the cage the whole time. What if she got out? And she was dead when the cage was lifted. There's, I don't think... Maybe. What about moment cage was lifted? What is the marker stone? Stone that was by Tenko's body. During the sands, Tenko had been crouched over in the cage with her forehead on the stone. Okay, well, it's not that. that. When cage lifted, culprit stepped. Tenko, real fast. So fast, no one saw. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try this to see if it's right. Then obviously Himiko is the cold point. I I missed. There's no did it. It hit the white noise. Oh my gosh. It rattled during the sounds. It could have been. Oh boy, I need like. She was under the cage the whole time. Everything now. And the cage was lifted. Moment cage was lifted. Uh. Cope and stab Tango real fast. So fast. Oh, no one saw. I don't, that's not it now. Oh my. Yes. So who lifted the cage? Ah. Obviously, Himiko is the cold point. That is not it. Okay. <laughs> I was wrong. Uh. When tank yeah, definitely I need help with this. I can't think. Like, none of these uh, truth bullets are really adding up. Something is proof that Tenko was killed before the cage. Oh, before? Let's see. Marker stone. I will say Iron Cage is not the bullet before the cage was lifted. Uh, would it be the sheet? Even then, I don't know what truth bullet it would go with. Maybe against uh, Gunta's? The sheet that was over the Iron Cage during the seance. It's very thick and cannot be seen through. There's blood on the back around the middle of the sheet, but there's no hole in the fabric. Try and see. Go got I'll try. Oh my it gosh, we're almost out of time. Seance. I really hope this it is it. It could have been done at any other time. She was under the cage the whole time. Uh, I'm gonna counter Gunta's point. The cage was left. Oh, that's it. Okay. That's wrong. That's interesting. I probably would have no, never gotten that out. Like, to kill her the moment the cage was lifted. I probably would have never gotten that if it wasn't for your hint. So thank you. Um. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how that like correlates at all. But I guess we're about to find out. Because the inside of the white cloth had Tenko's blood on it. Maybe. I don't know. Oh! Oh, I'm an idiot. That cloth was removed before the cage was lifted. <laughs> yes, that... <laughs> I literally just thought about that, like, right before. <laughs> I'm I'm an idiot. Gwenta thought Tenko died when the cage was lifted. Yeah, it didn't occur to me that the cloth was lifted up first. Uh, which I still find a very weird detail. Um... I don't understand why. Well, I understand, but like it's it's weird. I if Tanko was I'm an idiot. In, there wouldn't be blood on the cloth. Yeah. So she was stabbed during. But how could my golden brain be wrong when it felt so, so right? 